know Jesus. We're going to die one day and if we know him, we're going to go to a much better place. Jesus said you must be born again to inherit the kingdom of heaven. That's, that's as simple as accepting him as, as the one who died for you so you could be forgiven for your sins. And then go and follow him and obey him. Jesus said if you love me, you'll keep my words. America's full of hypocrites. We got a lot of people going to church and they out there willfully sinning because the preacher told them all they got to do is believe. But Jesus, Jesus said, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom. Be careful, brother. God bless you. God is good. That's good. I hope you know Jesus. He died for you so you could be forgiven for your sins. Huh? Yeah. Well, I hope you're obeying him. You know, there's a lot of churchgoers in America. A lot of people claim to be Christians, but they're not obeying Jesus. Jesus called them hypocrites. And uh, it's more than just believing. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. That's what true love is. So, he says, uh, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall inherit the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father. We got a lot of churches in America saying, you don't have to do anything, just have faith and believe. But that ain't what Jesus said. So there's a lot of false preachers in America. So I encourage you to read your Bible and obey the Lord. Don't follow a church or a denomination. Follow Jesus. And he'll make you the woman you'll be proud of. He'll, he'll guide and direct you in your life. I'm 50. I'm, I, I just turned 60 yesterday. And I gave it all to Jesus when I was 17. And uh, he, he's given me, he's guided and directed me, answered many prayers. Never been to the doctor in my adult life. And uh, so the Lord is good. He's, he wants to do good for us. But we got to be obedient to him. Your Bible says without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. But there's a lot of people in America that claim to be Christians. They out here having sex outside of marriage. The Bible says a fornicator won't inherit the kingdom of God. That's, that's sex outside of marriage. And they in the church saying they love Jesus while they're having sex outside of marriage, committing adultery. Lord bless you, ma'am. Be careful.
crazy.
How you doing, young man? Doing good. All right. Yeah. Uh, could you tell me more about? Uh, oh, could you tell me more about what you're? Doing? Yeah. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died for me and you so that we could be forgiven for our sins. Yeah. yeah. And if uh, you know, we don't know that. We don't. We don't really know if that's true or not. But you have to do what I had to do. And, and, and read, read the Holy Bible and challenge it. Do what it says do and seek the Lord to come alive in your life. And, uh, and that's what we're here to encourage you to do. Uh, you know, to, you know uh, read your Bible, accept Jesus in your heart, ask him to forgive you for your sins and, uh, and tell him you want to know him and, uh, and him to put his Holy Spirit inside of you. And when you mean that with all your heart and mind and, 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 and life, He'll come live inside of you and reveal himself to you, just like he did me. But I had to lay a lot of sin down. I was a young 17-year-old boy smoking marijuana, drinking booze, getting drunk, having sex outside of marriage. But that life left me empty inside. It didn't give me true happiness. And uh, so I decided, you know, I'm going to read the Bible and try to find God. So I started reading the book of John in your Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. And, uh, and, and those words came alive in my life. I could hear the Holy Spirit of God speaking to me, literally, and convicting me of sin. So I laid down all the sin I knew I had in my life, from pornography to the booze, the cigarettes, to marijuana, to having sex outside of marriage. I gave it all up, literally, true. It's called repenting. Jesus said, repent. That means turn from your sin. It don't mean just go to church. Most churches in America today ain't even worth going to because so many preachers are not preaching the whole truth. So that's why there's so many hypocrites in America. A lot of, a lot of people in America say they love God, but they don't live like it. And Jesus said in your Bible, if you love me, you will keep my commandments and I will manifest myself to you. And I'm here to tell you, when you do that, he will reveal himself to you. Just like me and you have revealed ourselves to one another today. And he'll guide and direct your life and make you the man he wants you to be. That's a fact. I'm so thankful I surrendered all my life to him as a 17-year-old young man. And I've never went back to sin, never wanted to go back, because sin just gets you up and down like a roller coaster and don't give you true peace and joy. That's why I, I had that put on my sign right there. I know from experience that, that sin won't give you true peace and joy, but obeying Jesus will. And I hope you'll give all your life to Him. Have you given your life to Jesus? Would you like to? Would you? Well, we'll pray right now. I'll get my brother over here. You want to pray? Okay. Hey, bro. We, we want to pray for our brother here. We want to pray. You want? Yeah, come over here. I don't have my Bible. You, do you have a Bible? Really? Normally I would have my backpack with me and I'd give you a Bible, but uh, you live around here? Uh, no, I'm from Massachusetts. Massachusetts? Yeah. He might have a Bible we'll give you. Um, but anyway, he's, he's my friend. He's a good, good, good guy. It, most people, they don't want to, they say they love Jesus, but they're too ashamed to come out here and share his word with the people. You know, a lot of people in America, there's, there's a lot of hypocrisy in America. You know, I grew up in a false church in America, Southern Baptist Church. They just say, pray this prayer and you go into heaven. Well, I prayed the prayer and they said, now Jesus is in your heart. Well, I didn't know it. I believe if somebody comes inside of me, I ought to know it. But they didn't tell me I had to surrender all my life to him. And, you know, the Lord Jesus said the greatest commandment is to love the Lord thy God with all your heart and all your mind. Well, we can't love God with all our mind and listen to music that don't glorify God and watch things on TV that are evil and sinful. So, he's got to get across all that traffic. But uh, we'll be glad to pray for you, young man. What's your name? Huh? You don't have to wear that mask unless you just want to. AKI? AKI? Hockey. Is that Chinese? Japanese. Japanese. Okay. That's cool. His, God is cool. You know, we got Japanese, Chinese, Mexican, European, you know, and we all bleed red. You know what I'm saying? 
But uh, I might have to mash that butt. What is that thing? Did you mash that butt right there, Reed? Getting chilly out here. Come on, bro. But we'll, we want to pray with uh, Aki. Aki wants to give his life to Jesus. Bless the Lord, Aki. All right. He's Japanese. Uh, Aki is Japanese. All right. How you doing? So you understand? You understand what I was sharing with you? That you know, uh, uh, God sent His Son. You know, God created Adam and Eve. I mean, you, you know, like I say, you got to get into the Bible for yourself and learn that, 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 that God is real and, he, you know, he'll come inside of you. You know, the Lord says, you seek me and you shall find me when you search for me with all your heart. Okay? And, and that's how we have to, that's what we have to do. It's all or none with God. So, uh, but he sent his son, Jesus Christ, into this world that paid the price. God in the flesh that was that could have called legions of angels down and, and killed everybody, but he shed his blood. Don't ask me why he had to do that. I can't give you that answer. But but, but God is God. I'm not, I've learned it's best not to argue with him. And uh, so uh, so uh, if, if, if we accept his son and we repent and turn from our sins and make a commitment to follow him, then uh, he will reveal himself to us. And he'll make you the finest man He'll, 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 you won't regret it. Let's put it like that. Okay. So you want to pray, Aki, and give your life to Jesus? Okay. You, you mind? Can you? I mean, we, you want to hold hands? We like to hold hands ourselves, but if you don't want to do that, we don't have to. We can just. Can we just touch you? Yeah. On your shoulder, touch you, brother, Aki. So, so, so say this right now, Aki. Say, say, uh, Father God, I accept your Son, Jesus. I believe that he came into this world and died for me so I could be forgiven for my sins and I thank you for that I accept that by faith forgive me for all of my sins and my trespasses and I ask you to come live inside of me fill me with your Holy Spirit and make me the man you want me to be. Guide and direct my life and lead me. In the name of Yeshua, Jesus. Amen. Yeshua is Hebrew for Jesus, Abba. Now you get into your Bible. I, we, we, we I don't have a Bible. Wow. Yeah. I'd like to take down maybe your address or something I can mail to you. He's from Massachusetts. Wow, how about that? I'll get you yep. a good Bible. Can you mind if I get you on the on the little video, Aki? Um, maybe not. Cool. Yeah, I mean, we're we're all good. But yeah. I, I think this thing's working. But this is Aki, and and Aki just gave his life to Jesus. Praise, praise God. Lord, praise and I hope you mean it, because the Lord, the Lord wants to reveal Himself to you and come alive in your life. But you got to mean business anything. with Him. He, he, he's put that love in my heart. It brings me to tears, Aki. I'm, I just turned 60 years old yesterday. And that's that love God puts in your heart. I love my fellow man. You know, we get persecuted for doing this. Sometimes I've been spit on by homosexuals. I've been, you know, we get cussed at pretty often. They're just people that got a hard heart. Well, you just heard, rebellious. You've heard what they did to Jesus. A lot yep. of people says that he might come along and passed out Jesus sir. That's like right. Real. Or lollipop. But Jesus, Jesus said they hated me before they hated you. That's right. So that's just people rebellious, you know. It's that's just a natural people well, just want to do their own thing and they be led rebellious. Him to his death. If you think if you look at the scripture, they led him to his death. You know the story. But praise God, man. He's got to look at this starts here. Don't end here. Oh, this is the time. very beginning. You you you, you if you didn't feel the Holy Spirit come into you when we just prayed for you, okay, then he wants you to prove yourself to him. Sure. He wants you to he wants to see you turning from sin. Well, okay? our sin put him on that tree. I had to look at it in a personal way that I did it. My sin put him there and killed him. Innocent, innocent, loving Lord and Savior. And when you look at it like that, godly sorrow comes into your life, friend. And when you receive that godly sorrow, your heart gets broken about it. That's and right. You cry out to Jesus. 
but I'm, it starts here. It don't fit you. It's not how you start the race, but it's how you finish that matters. That's you right. Continue there in it. You got to look into it and tomorrow you, and, and, and talk with the Lord and consume. That's right. It's something very important. Don't put your faith in denominations. That's, we got Baptist, we got Catholic, we got Episcopalian, we got, there's so many of them, okay? You get into God's Word and the Holy Spirit says He will teach you all right. things, okay? Perfect. You see, all them different churches, they say they, they preach it from the Bible, but they believe a whole bunch of different things. So we know they can't be all right. So how are you gonna know? You're gonna get in the Word of God for yourself. And, and Jesus said, I will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. So you put your faith in him and say, Lord, help me to understand. Help me to understand. Teach me. And yeah, don't hey, seek him out every week, once every Sunday, such like that. This is every right, day. That's right. a daily walk, man. It and, is. And I, it's life changing. And I, the, the Holy Spirit didn't come into me. You've heard the term born again, right? That's a powerful term. Like it's so powerful. Nicodemus said, how can I enter into my mother's womb and be born again? Okay? But it's spiritually a new person. Okay? And if you'd have known me back when I gave my life to the Lord, you'd have said, my name's Ray. You'd have said, man, that Ray, he's just a different guy, man. He, he is truly born again. He don't want to go hang out, you know, with the girls anymore and fornicate. Okay. Go yeah, camp man. out and drink the beer and all that, you know. And, uh, but, uh, but I had to, the Lord tested me. The Holy Spirit didn't come into me until three days later wow. after I prayed in those woods. All just me and God in those woods, okay? And uh, because he wanted, to, he wanted to see me lay my sin down. I ripped up a pornography magazine. I, like I told you, I told you all that. I gave all that up in three days, three days. And the Lord even convicted me of the kind of music I listened to. I, mean, I, 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 I had a lot of rock and roll, you know, and I've uh, been to the rock and roll concerts and the Lord said, I want your mind. You need to stop listening to that. Because Jesus said the greatest commandment is to love the Lord thy God with all your heart and all your mind. Until you do that, he ain't gonna come live in somebody. That's why most people in the churches in America, he don't live in there. That's why most churches are powerless. They're powerless. Okay? Because but when the Spirit of God's in there, he'll give you power. Uh, Aki, right? How you say that? Yeah, he'll give you power, man. The Lord can use you to heal people. Okay? God can use you to do miracles. It's up to people. you. It's lead up to people. you. Lead your family. Amen. It's to up heaven. to you. Yeah. I tell you, there's only two two places at the end of all this. I know you got to go. Yeah. There's only two places well, at get, the end we, of this Get life. his name. We I need, know it. I know it. Do you have any kind of card, Aki, or anything? Yeah. How about that? You got wow. a card? He's got one. Wow. Ain't that awesome? That's the Lord. Oh, oh. a little picture. Uh, so does that mean get your address right there in New York? Or, or is, it, is that where you get mail? Yeah. Man, we're gonna, that's going to be great. Awesome. Praise the Lord. Got it. Yeah, we'll see. My we'll sneak, by the way, brother Nick. Yep. Bless the Lord. And brother Nick, and brother Nick and I met once before today. <laughs> sure enough. Yep. And uh, doing the work of the Lord. We, we see, you know, our the Holy Spirit in each of us right. connect. That's right. And uh, so we out here, you know, trying to get and people the Lord to repent. Build you up and get you in. Uh... See, as you draw near to God, That's you'll right. understand and learn what Nick and I learned. We've heard for many, many years the Lord's coming back. The Lord's coming back. But there's a lot of things showing that the Lord showed me He's coming back in my lifetime. I believe yeah, that. Very soon. I believe that. we got to be ready. There's so much wickedness. Love you, man. Take care. And we'll, we, we'll be in touch with you. praying for you. Aki, how you say it? Aki, yeah. Yeah, got you. See you, friend. we got his address. We're going to get him a good... Fly that sign, bro. Yeah. I know it. Let me see. Oh, no, it don't really screw in that good. Yeah, well, it don't. Look. How you doing, sir? All right. All right. Obey the Lord. He'll take care of you. you got to obey him. What did you say? You said earlier, did you hollow out that hole? Or well, because this is fatter. Okay. I had to hollow this hole out a little. Yeah, that that you. works fine. Okay, gotcha. Mine needs a little hollow. But but the, the threading on these poles don't don't fit the threading on those PVC fittings. Gotcha. So gotcha. I just kind of jam them up in there. Yeah. Mine to undo, especially after good wind. Man, that was that was meant to be by God, there, man. That was awesome.
Yeah. Yeah. I just come up here. I said, uh, I shared my testimony a little bit. That's I, right. I said, you want to give your life to Jesus? He said, yeah. That's right. We got to keep his Thank word. You, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Awesome. Man. Hey, I'll fly right here instead of crossing traffic. I know it's trying to get dark if you want me to. I feel like a lot of people's here. They're stopping here, isn't it? Yeah, we're too close, though. They, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. I'll get over there so we can reach them all. Yeah, you can go down to that pole. Either way, either way. Exactly. I think you're better on the other side over there. Because a lot of people's rolling windows down. Yeah, because there's three lanes. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, hey, they don't care around here. <laughs> Lord God, in the name of Yeshua, God in the wreck, Aki, power of your Holy Spirit, Lord. Chevy Blazer? Yeah. What year model? 81. 81, yeah. I mean, I, they brought the Blazer back, but I hadn't seen a new one. I don't know what they look like. Like a fucking soccer mom's SUV or something? Huh? Like a soccer mom's SUV or something? Really? R real modernized? Yeah. Yeah. Like that, yeah. I like that grill, too. Not like what Ford's about to do their Bronco. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, obey the Lord, young man. Put him number one in your life. I'm doing my best. Well, if we love him, Jesus, just remember this. If you love your best friend, you won't lie to him. You won't steal from him. If you love Jesus, Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. All right, thank you, brother. Take care.
Thank <laughs> you.